Hello guys, LEGO Master Reviews here, and welcome to my Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse custom LEGO minifigure showcase. Um, I will be talking spoilers in this video, and I did make one spoiler custom, but I didn't put them um, here just because I didn't want to spoil it for people that haven't seen it yet in the thumbnail. But yeah, again, so if you haven't seen the movie, click off. It's Trust me, it's not worth being spoiled. There's so many crazy plot twists and cameos in this movie. So yeah, go see it as soon as you can. It's absolutely incredible. But yeah, that being said, if you've already seen it and you don't want to be spoiled, it's coming into this. So, um, yeah, the one spoiler custom I did make was Donald Glover as the Prowler, but we'll save him for the end of the video. But yeah, this movie was absolutely incredible, the animation was gorgeously stunning, it was just amazing. And yeah, I did make a whole community post of, um, about my thoughts of the movie, so if you want to hear more, more in-depth thoughts, you can go check that out. But yeah, for the, but just to round it up here, I just absolutely love this movie so much, I highly recommend it, go check it out. But yeah, that being said, let's get right into this. So the first custom we'll take a look at here is Miles Morales, and yeah, really happy how this one turned out. The hair piece is from Shuri from Black Panther Wakanda Forever. I think this one works pretty well, but there is a better one. I think it's starting to come in like the new Ninjago Rising sets. It's kind of just like a shortened one with like shorter like hair on the top. And this one's just kind of a bit long on him, I think, but I still think it works for the most part. So yeah, if you do have that one, I um, recommend using that, but I think this one does get the point across. The head is from Lucas and Clara from the Stranger Things set. And the torso is from Miles from the Morbius car chase set, but I did flip it around because I think the back um, printing on it works better for what his suit looked like in the movie. Then the arms and hands are from Mr. Incredible. I think that the molding really works for how his suit looks with kind of like the und red underneath his arm. And yeah, I, just, I think it looks pretty good. And yeah, the legs are uh, just some plain black ones, as you can see. Um, it's hard to get like dual molded legs because I didn't really have boots. I didn't want to use dual molded stuff and I couldn't really find legs. They had like kind of like detail on them to like fit, so I think this plain black ones work for the most part. And then I just put a mask in his hand, I'll show you what this custom looks like. With the mask in his hand, as you can see. And yeah, on the, as you can see, I think it looks great with the mask, and it looks even better than with the unmasked. But yeah, really like how this one turned out. And yeah, he's just super awesome in the movie. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy again how this one turned out. I think the dual molded arms add a lot to him. But yeah, the next one we'll take a look at here is Gwen Stacy, as you can see, Spider-Gwen. She was also really awesome in the movie. Got a lot more character development in this one, I would say. But um, for her, you're gonna get the hood, the head, and torso from the Gwen Stacy minifigure that comes in the Daily Bugle. I think it's coming in a lot of other sets too. But I will say, if you have these Spider-Man and his amazing friends sets, with like the bigger eyes um, and like the different torsos, like the, like I'm trying to, here's one of the Spider-Man amazing friends faces. You can see the eyes are just a lot bigger on that one. And it just fits the animation style of the movie a little bit better. So yeah, if you have any of those like Force Plus Spider-Man Amazing Friends sets, I definitely recommend using those parts because it didn't make Miles with like the bigger eyes and it didn't make Gwen with the bigger eyes. So yeah, I recommend using those if you do have those parts, but I didn't. So we use the normal Spider-Gwen. This one really works well, I think, as well. But yeah, like I said, hood, face, and torso are all from the Gwen Stacy. And then the um, arms are from Frozone, as you can see. And I think that works really good with the dual mold, like turquoise and white there. And it kind of matches with this little like detail here that carries down. I really like how that looks. And the legs are just from the Punisher. I know the colors aren't all exactly accurate, but I think it has a lot more detail than just plain black legs and plain white arms. And yeah, really happy how this one turned out. And yeah, the next one we'll take a look at here though is Peter B. Parker. He was awesome in this movie. We didn't get much screen time of him, but I still think he was very cool nonetheless. And yeah, for him, I got the hair, just some like spiky brown ones. Um, you can get off a lot of minifigures. I got this one off Buzz Lightyear. But again, it comes off a lot of minifigures. Face is from Indiana Jones from the new April 1st sets that got released. And yeah, then the torso, it kind of has like a pink robe on during the movie. So I wanted to represent that. And while making this custom, I didn't realize how little pink torsos I had. I mean, I was like looking through all my minifigures, couldn't find any. Until I came across this one from like Disney, or not Disney, but just the normal Lego CMF series, like 24. And it's like from this like queen or like princess. And I think it works really well if you just flip it around and then put the baby carrier piece over it to kind of cover all the detail on the back. I think it works pretty well and kind of represents his like pink robe he had on very well. But yeah, then the movie it has this, this normal Spider-Man suit underneath, so I just gave him some red hands for the suit and just the normal like dual molded boots underneath. I think it looks very good. And I didn't have like a baby piece because all the baby like Lego minifigures I have are either like the yellow like Lego City skin tone or just Baby Yoda, so it didn't really work. But yeah, if you have any like normal like flesh tone babies from any other sets, I'd recommend putting them in there. But yeah, um, he was awesome in the movie. I loved seeing him as like a dad with his baby. It's very cool and cute. But that being said, let's go into the next one here. 
Spider-Man 29, probably my favorite Spider-Man, like, newly introduced in this movie. He was so cool. I loved all the scenes with him. But for him, I got the face and torso from the Spider-Man 2099 minifigure, which actually only came in one set, so I'd recommend getting them now because it's going to go up in value. I'm just telling you. It's going to get, everyone's going to want them. So definitely get this minifigure before it goes up in value. It might already even gone up in value. But that being said, the legs are from, like, any of the blue suits from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. I just like how, like, the legs, like, like hips kind of carry down the red and just adds more leg detail on this plain blue legs. The arms are from Captain Carter in the CMF series. I just really like how, like, the blue and red just add a lot more detail. Again, I just think it looks a lot better. Part of my favorite thing I did with this custom was I gave them these, like, shoulder blades using these uh, blue jumper pieces from the site. Like, they were newly, they were introduced on the, um, DC CMF series, but they were in clear. And I don't really know, and part, I think it was the Avatar set, so you can get these pieces in blue. And it just matches them so well, so it just looks like they're part of a suit, and then you get the like shoulder blade sticking out. I think it just looks so good, and I'm really proud of this one came out. I just really like it, and I think from like looking at it straight, it looks like great. It looks just like a shoulder blades to me. I like looking at it like that. Well, another thing you can do that I didn't add to this, because like his cape was literally like in the movie for not even five seconds. Like when we first see him, he just like takes away his cape, and we don't see it for the rest of the movie. But you can just add this cape from that orc from the Disney, or not the Disney, but this, the CMF series, like 24, as you can see. I think it adds a little bit of detail if you like seeing with the cape. Again, we like barely saw it, so I didn't really want to add that, just because it was just barely, barely in the movie. And then another thing I did was actually make an unmasked face for him, um, but I don't actually use this, as you can see. So I got this one from Gilgamesh, as you can see, and I just got the hair from Morbius, and just taking that off real quick. I don't think it's perfect, but I think from what we saw, like, he didn't have his mask off for much of the movie, but I think it does work for the most part, as you can see. But again, that face is from Gilgamesh from the Eternals, and the hair is just from Morbius. I think for the most part, from what we've seen, it like, came on the mask, I think it works pretty well. But taking that off, I think it looks best with the mask on. I really like how this custom came out, and probably one of my favorites I did. The next new figure we'll take a look at here is the spot a villain that i'm really surprised they did so well with because when they announced that it was like going to be the spot was the main villain he's just kind of a goofy character in the beginning he's kind of goofy but what we see him in the movie he just becomes more and more of a threat to miles and i really like that also found it really funny that they made him the bagel guy the guy that got hit by the bagel from the first one that was a super funny kind of a nice callback so i did like that i thought that was funny but yeah for him you can you're gonna get the this plain white legs and then the torso is from the snowman from like it was series 23 um, and yeah, I just, it's from, like, the snowman, like, mascot guy, um, and he just has, like, these three, like, meant to be, like, pieces of coal, but I think it looks like the black spots he has all over his body, so I did that, I just gave him a plain white head, and then just gave him a white arm, put a black hand there, and a black arm, put a white arm, hand there, and I think that looks pretty good, just because, like, he's, like, consuming more and more energy throughout the movie until he becomes, like, almost, like, inverted, like, he has, like, white holes and, like, black skin. So I did really like that. I, just, I liked adding the mix, like mix match of them. Really like this custom, like how it turned out. Another thing you can do is get the face from Baymax if you want, like the two, like just like black dots on his face because the Baymax head from the Disney CMF 100 series really works. But I was going through them and I kind of thought that this one looked better. So yeah, you can also do that. But yeah, just a plain white head will work, or any minifigure with like a face that has a white head. Just flip it around, and yeah, you got that. But the next one. Um, here we'll take a look at a Spider-Man India. A pretty cool um, variant of Spider-Man. He was pretty cool in the movie. But the hair is from Valkyrie. As you can see, you can kind of just put that, like, not on the back, but it's over his shoulder. The face is from the Mighty Micro of Scarlet Spider. Uh, speaking of Scarlet Spider, they did him dirty in this movie. I, they, like, he was funny in parts, but I just really wish we got, like, a cooler version of him. But he was still funny. I really liked him. And yeah, but again, the Mighty Micro of Scarlet Spider face. The torso from the Spidey and Amazing Friend Spider-Man. Just put some red arms on there and then give him some like purple hands just because if you look he actually has like purple gloves on so yeah i wanted to do that um and i think it looks pretty good it was really hard for me to find purple hands but i got them off the um rescue armor pepper pots from avengers endgame but yeah they come in other minifigures too but that was where i found them and the legs are just from jay from the ninjago sets i think it, this one comes out really well he's a pretty cool character in the movie the next one we'll take a look at here is uh, spider punk he was very awesome too i really liked him in the movie his animation was absolutely crazy like he was just constantly changing color and it was just so cool to like when he like first got introduced yeah he's pretty cool in the movie but the legs are from zia rodriguez from the um jurassic world fallen kingdom wave of sets the torso is awesome from zia rodriguez but from the jurassic world dominion sets 
Then I put some blue arms on there and added some red hands. And then the face is from Spidey's Amazing Friends, the sp normal Spider-Man minifigure. And then I gave him this mohawk. I would recommend using just the black normal mohawk that's come in a lot of minifigures. But I just couldn't find one. Um, so I just used the one from Yondu, which is actually very, very funny. But yeah, if you have the normal mohawk, um, definitely use that. But I think this one works really well too and it gets the point across. Another thing I didn't have was like an electric guitar thing. Or like the piece they've made on. Like I have normal guitar pe Lego pieces, but I don't have an electric guitar um, Lego, like, Lego piece. So what I did was just give them this like black neck bracket. Put a clip on there and just kind of made this like mix match custom guitar as you can see. Kind of like an antenna piece and like a... A little like clip and just a, like a just random pieces as you can see it doesn't look great but i think it gets the point across that it kind of has it strapped to his back and i really like how this one turned out it's another one of my favorites i think the legs work really well and i'm pretty proud of this one turned out the last one we will take a look at here um is um donald glover's the prowler it's kind of a really cool surprise cameo and i, I was kind of just looking through my pieces and i thought this one worked really well but yeah the face and head are from lando calrissian from the solo movie it's really funny because um, Donald Glover plays Lando Calrissian in that movie, so this face is really like modeled after him. So that worked perfect. But then this little like neck thing here is actually a shoulder pauldron from this like like it came in the Monkey Kids set. It was like this like kind of like bull guard. But yeah, he comes with like those little shoulder pauldrons. It's like the Boba Fett one recolored in like purple. But I think it really works like the prowler like neck like neck cape. And then the t um, other cape is from Bo Peep. Which is like a random minifigure, but you can also get it off Mysterio. Mysterio's is a bit of a lighter purple. I think the dark purple one is only on Bo Peep. But I think it still looks really good. The torso and legs and arms are all from the like, comic Hawkeye minifigure from a couple years back. And then I just put some black hands on there. Another thing you can do to this custom, at the ending of the movie, when like, Miles is in the wrong universe and he meets himself. And sees that you can just swap out this face for like a custom face. That looks more like Miles, and just put a different hairpiece on there, and you have like the Prowler version of Miles. So yeah, this custom kind of works as too, but you can also do that with this one. But yeah, that is all my custom minifigures from this um, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse minifigure showcase. I mean, there are so many spider people in this movie, I could literally make a hundred, like, I think these are like 240 spider people are in this movie, which is absolutely crazy to me, there's just so many. So yeah, I, I, I picked kind of the main like cast of them. Um, I didn't want to make Scarlet Spider, but if you have the Scarlet Spider minifigure, you have it. I mean, the Scarlet Spider minifigure leg was made in that one bridge battle set. is absolutely perfect. So yeah, that's pretty much all you could really do to make that minifigure. It's just already perfect with the great arm printing and stuff. But yeah, and I really, I, I kind of disappointed what they did with Scarlet Spider in this movie, but I did like him nonetheless. And yeah, it was also really cool. One thing I want to point out, that Lego universe we got to see like in the, more towards the beginning of the movie was so cool. I don't get why we didn't get sets. I really hope Lego gives an explanation or just gives us some like sets next year for Across the Spider-Verse or Beyond the Spider-Verse, which would be awesome. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed these customs and let me know which one's your favorite in the comments down below and what you think of these customs. And let me know what you thought of the movie if you've seen it. And yeah, that being said, thank you once again so much for watching and I'm very excited for Beyond the Spider-Verse coming next year. Bye.